Let's do these three examples of finding the augmented matrix for the linear system. This is an important process we're going to do a lot throughout this course, so it's always good to get some practice. Beginning with this one. You should know that an augmented matrix has one row for each equation. So our augmented matrix will have four rows. Then for the columns, it needs a column for each variable in the system, as well as a column for the constants. In this system, we have four variables, so our augmented matrix will have five columns, one for each of the variables and one for the constants. So starting to set this augmented matrix up, the first part of the augmented matrix is the coefficient matrix, just storing the information about the coefficients. In the first column, we'll put the coefficients of x, then the coefficients of y, then the coefficients of z, and then the coefficients of w. It's at that part where the augmented matrix is split and the constants are put over there. The coefficient of x from the first equation is 1. From the second equation, there is no x, so that's 0. From the third equation, the coefficient is 5. And from the fourth equation, the coefficient is negative 8. Then we move on to the coefficients for y in the second column. Note that this isn't part of the matrix. These are just labels. In the first equation, y has a coefficient of 1. In the second equation, y has a coefficient of 4. There's no y in the third equation. And in the fourth equation, y has a coefficient of negative 1. We repeat this process for z and w. And then the last column, separated from the coefficients, represents all of the constants. So 8, 6, negative 9, and 4. I'll mention that in some cases, when we have a linear system where all the constants are 0, we'll actually often find it convenient in those situations to not even include this column. And so we technically wouldn't even be working with an augmented matrix. But in this video, all of our examples have non-zero constants, which is more typical. So that's how easy it is to write an augmented matrix for a linear system. Give it a try yourself for this next example. Beginning to talk through this, how many rows should our augmented matrix have? Well, there are four equations. So our augmented matrix should have four Four rows. How many columns? Well, we see four variables, x1, x2, x3, and x4, so we'll need five columns. The first column of our augmented matrix will have the coefficients of the first variable x1. The first equation has no x1, the second equation has three x1s, the third equation has no x1, and the fourth equation has one x1. Then we move on to the x2 column. The first equation has 8x2s. The second equation has 1x2. The third equation has no x2s. And the fourth equation has 4x2s. And we continue this process for x3 and x4. Note that when the equations are formatted like this, so for example, there's blank space here to represent that there's no x1 and there's no x2, it can be really easy to just jot down these coefficients, kind of just going down column by column. But just make sure you're careful, because equations aren't always written so nicely like this. For example, there's no reason this variable has to be x3 just because it's in line with the other x3s. It just as well could have been x2, and if I wasn't careful, I might not have noticed. Anyway, in these examples, they're all written nicely, so here is the coefficient matrix, and then finally, the last column just stores all of the constants, 12, negative 8, 4, and 5. So there is our augmented matrix for this system. Let's do one more example. Again, we have four equations, so our augmented matrix will have four rows, and it will need five columns, one for each of the four variables and one for the constants. In the first column, I put the coefficients of x1, which are 3, 0, 5, and 14, going down the equations. In the next column, I put the coefficients of x2, negative 4, 0, 5, and negative 3. In the third column, we have the coefficients of x3, which are 2, 8, 1, and 0, and then finally the coefficients of x4, negative 1, 0, 0, and 1. Finally, the last column will store the constants, which are 0, 7, 
negative three, and zero. And that's how to write an augmented matrix to represent a linear system. These were all examples with four equations and four variables, but of course the dimensions could be anything, so stay vigilant. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my linear algebra course and linear algebra exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about.